Improving access to resources while preserving and replenishing those resources is what we do at Veolia. Each day we collect and treat waste water to reuse it or to release clean water back into natural environments. Here's how and why at a glance. Waste water from homes, factories and farms reaches treatment plants through sewer systems. First, we remove the suspended matter in the water. This is the primary treatment. Here, screens filter out the larger objects, which are then transferred to separate facilities. Then, the grit settles at the bottom of a tank, and small bubbles lift the oil and fat to the surface, where we skim them off and reroute them to biological treatment circuits. Then, we add a coagulant to the water, the suspended particles gradually aggregate into clots, which are called flocks. Gravity drags these flocks to the floor of a large settling pond, and we remove them. Meanwhile, a system of inlets harvests the clean water at the surface. This water then reaches the secondary treatment phase. Here, we remove dissolved matter, organic matter for example. Bacteria digest this matter in pools filled with polystyrene balls where the bacteria settle. The dead bacteria and residue form a sludge, which we remove and treat in turn. We analyze the water after each treatment phase. Once we have removed the pollutants, the clean water can flow back into the natural environment or be reused in cities and industrial plants.